coming to my party tonight? Yeah, of course. Emma's mates are coming, and I know one who would be perfect for you. She's not fussy. Really? First day, start at the top and stay there. Stay away from the girls! I want to be a writer, but my family is stuck in another century. Writing isn't a job. I need you to do more. Make a wish, beta. Kiss a girl and get out of this dump. Bruce is the direct line to all this true in this shitty world. Seriously, what does he know about our world? You should be listening to our music before you start getting confused and hating yourself. I listen to everything. I can feel it all right here. It's like Bruce knows everything I've ever felt. Everything I've ever wanted. My poems, they're not brilliant, but they're mine. Do you think that this man sings for people like us? But he talks to me. I had to say congratulations to you both for this wonderful, very warming and inspiring story. Mm -hmm. And you know, I'm, I, I like Bruce Springsteen film music, of course, but I have to ask you, is it hard to make this movie just because your past films, the story is very different, you approach it differently? Um, well, actually, I was worried when I started making this film because I didn't want it to feel like Bender like Beckham because there are similarities, you know, it's also about a young kid who has a dream and, and Asian parents who are saying that no, you can't. So I was worried. So we worked quite hard to make it feel separate, you know, feel different. And I think uh, it's a beautiful story about the British Asian experience in terms of us as a diaspora, but told through the words and music of Bruce Springsteen, you know, and what 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 they mean to this kid, um, and then you find actually, if you listen to Bruce's lyrics, that they're actually, uh, you know, very uh, relevant to today. You know, they were relevant then when he wrote them in the eighties and seventies, but they're very relevant to today. And I feel that, um, you know, uh, we we were very lucky to have such a great poet, you know, to draw from for inspiration. And. Great job in playing the best friend to the main character. You. Uh, you were born 10 years after the story took place. Yeah. So <laughs> how did you view the 80s from music to wardrobe and... Um, you see, I, I I had a lot of... It was quite easy for me to get the research because I had I had Garinda there, I had, I had my parents and uncles and aunts. So being Indian already and having parents and even grandparents that had to deal with you know the political crisis mm. of things and to having parents that that want you to get a normal job because back then it was like a, a lot of the jobs outside of doctor and chemist and stuff like that was just it was a white man's job yeah. so um it, you know it, the music aspect as well it, it was nice to have Gorinda and Saf and then Roots for that yes. because to me Bruce Springsteen was a stranger <laughs> and, and, and so, from another planet <laughs> but pretty much yeah yeah uh, but but yeah so, so since this film is it's, it's opened my eyes to a lot and and how his music is so timeless and it speaks to people from all cultures from 20 years ago to, to now I have to compliment on your music uh, choices in, in, in this film because in the 80s there are a lot of great songs like yeah. Cutting Crew, I Just Done Your Own yes. Tonight, I'm like, oh, yeah. that brings back memories. Oh, so, I yeah. Just Done Your Own Tonight. That is such a great one of my favorite songs. Thank like, you. <laughs> but um, who helped you pick up these? these uh, me. <laughs> oh, so no help. You did no, this by yourself. Oh. You know, these were songs that were very big in the yeah. 80s, Pet Shop Boys. Yes, It's yes. a sin. Oh, and me? Um, I, yes. I didn't, yes. Yeah, and uh, Aha, you know, the sun always shines <laughs> on TV. So, yeah, that was, a, sadly, we know all those songs. Um, but also, there's a lot of Indian songs. Um, there's a lot of bang and there was Bhangra music, you know, which was a big thing in the 80s for me. Uh, the fusion of Indian and Western music. And then the songs that the dad listens to, the old Indian songs, those are songs that my dad used to listen to, um, especially when he'd had a few whiskeys. So <laughs> all that kind of feeds into, into the film. And when Bruce saw the film, because uh, I showed him my cut, he loved that there was so much other music as well as his own in the film because it gave it a good context. Well, 
great job. This is such a great film. I mean, one of my favorites so far of the year, so. Thank you. Thank you so much. much. Thank you. You cannot be serious, mate. My dream was to come here and work hard for my family. If you don't try to fix this, we will lose our son for good. This guy is incredible. You've never heard lyrics like his. Is that Billy Joel? Billy Joel? You try and raise your kids right, Jay. Bruce sings about not letting the hardness of the world stop you from letting the best of you slip away. My hope is to build a bridge to my ambitions, but not a wall between my family and me. Purpose of your visit? I'm going to see Bruce Springsteen's hometown. I can't think of a better reason to visit the United States than to see the home of the boss. Traps like us. Baby, we were born to run. Did you write that? I've told you before, your lyrics are rubbish. I didn't even rhyme!